Four. Okay. And it's going. All right, we're good. All right, I'm gonna stay with the car. The one thing about BMWs is they don't tell you the charge. And by the way, dusting, yeah, I keep a duster in my car. Because I get tired of these little dusty screens. It doesn't tell. It just goes. So we just got to wait for this. One kilowatt. That better speed up. 45, there we go. Whew. I ran the wrecks kind of empty. There's my wrecks. I don't know if you can see that because it keeps that's nah, gone now I'm a little under half for the wreck so I'll fill up the wrecks gas and we'll have enough in this by the time we're done golly that is so fast though by the way this is a 2016 i3 so it's only got the 33 34 kilowatt hour battery doesn't have the nice bigger one 42 these those started in 2019 one of these days i'll get a 2019 or whenever but this was the trip to look at i still like that 45 that's not bad this car will charge really fast but this will uh go fairly fast then we'll end up heading back home i'll probably put all this together because <sighs> this is the same trip of seeing the tesla and sitting in the tesla and they're taking a lot of pictures instead of video i think so I might even post, especially some of the bad pictures, and then I might post some of the bad video. I might sporadically show it as I'm talking here. I three is on a very common car where we're at, so we get a lot of stares. Sometimes it's frightening because they look at you. My my windows are these are really tinted. I'll show you. I'll get up and show. From the outside, you really can't see it. So I could be sitting right there and you can't see me looking at you, but I don't know that. So whenever we are sitting in here doing whatever, you know, it is me waiting for wife or kids to come back from shopping or something like that. I'm sitting here, but people are constantly looking at this car because it's such an odd looking car. It's not a Tesla. It's not a Bolt, Bolt, whatever. It does have a distinct look and this, uh, Panda colored, the blue blue and white one really stands out versus the, just the dark. I'm already at 42% since we've been talking. <gasps> Why does it say one kilowatt? And there's 48. Okay. Whew. Man, this thing has been smoking. It's been 48 and 49 for the past 40%. I'll take it. Sucky part is that's about what my Tesla's been getting on average. Once you hit about 40 or 50% on the Tesla, our Tesla has been dropping down into the 40s. 50s if we're lucky but like 40 and 50 kilowatts from like 40 or 50 percent on it's been terrible one of the reasons why we're getting rid of it but it's, i think it's also one of the one of the things that they did to entice people like us that had a fairly fast fairly decently fast charging in our model older model s's with the unlimited supercharging they plus we have older batteries i get it they don't want to have to warranty those so they slowed us down literally by half used to start about 110 112 117 i've got some video footage i may or may not throw in here just of when we were on our vacation to florida when we first got the car we stopped every single every single time we stopped it was just smoking fast 20 minute stops 25 minute stops maybe 30 one time we had to charge in like 98 percent because we had to get from memphis to sykes to missouri it's a pretty big haul had a headwind the whole way we charged a 98 or 99 percent and then we made it to Sykes and I think with like 18 or something like that it was we have an s85 that that was a uh, it was a trip it was beautiful weather sunny but just slightly uphill it seems like the whole way like an elevation change or something I don't know what it was but it was just it was nice and flat but we had a headwind a big apparently a pretty strong headwind but we used about 80 percent just about 80 percent of our battery to get there 
and that was on a beautiful day so i can imagine if it was raining and or nighttime with your headlights on and the headwind it would have i don't know if we would have made it but that's a uh, back in the oldie days that that charge was less than an hour for us to get to that point that charge now would take us probably an hour and a half, possibly more. It takes over, it takes around an hour just to go from like 20 or 30% to like 80 or 85%. So I couldn't imagine going from 85 to 100 or 85 to even 95 or 98%. It, it, not anymore. So they're letting me buy another car. Lucky me. Trying to trade my other one in, but we'll see what we get for that. That all finally went through if I didn't, if I didn't mention it. By the way, today's February 1st. So today's February 1st, tomorrow's my wife's birthday. That's why we've been eating so much and taking trips. But we got to, to finally sit in that car, as you can see from the videos. I really enjoyed the seats. The cushy, they're really cushy. We sat in the new Model S as well. We both think our Model S, our 2013 Model S's seats are as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than the most recent version seats of Model S's. So I don't know. Like they changed them and changed them, but those Model 3 seats, they're different. I like them. They're they're cushy. They're like sitting on marshmallows. I'm hoping that they stay that way, and that they don't get flat and wore down and rough and all that jazz. Here she comes. 53%. Let's see what it jumps up to. Every time I get on the app, it freaks me out because it says one kilowatt. Like, what? 33. All right, so there was a big taper, probably around 50%. I wasn't watching at that point, but it dropped from 48 and 49 down to 33. We'll see if it stays around there, but we could leave right now. I'm up to four bucks. I might just charge $5 worth and go. Well, I'm going to go. I'm a woman. She coming. So we'll go. 